Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Alex Karamanis and today I'm gonna show you how to make a Stripe payment in the, your React Native project. Before we start, I want, uh, as you might already know, uh, before eight months I quit my job to become a software developer. I wanted to start like this uh, because I don't want you to get despair uh, if you don't understand and if you are struggling to become a software developer I have been in your position and maybe six months ago anything that I'm gonna display uh, today seemed like seemed like Chinese to me so uh, don't get despaired just be consistent uh, and you are gonna make it so let's start the first step is to go to the stripe.account stripe.com uh, web page and make an account doing so you are gonna get those two keys the public key and the secret key uh, af after that you should go to your backend my backend is with node uh, Node.js and you should and in the in the file that you are gonna handle the the payment request you should declare this variable uh, the only thing that you can do is to uh, pass the secret key to this uh, variable after doing so we should go to the mark to the front end my front end is, is with React Native and we have to, to go to our uh, starting uh, point to the, our main to our main uh, to our starting point the app.js file and uh, import the Stripe provider the Stripe provider uh, gives us access to all the methods and all the hooks that uh, Stripe has to provide uh, then we should go to our uh, screens this is where I'm displaying my screens I have two main stack stacks of uh, screens ones uh, ones that they uh, want that they don't want authentication like the login screen or the sign up screen and the ones that uh, do want uh, authentication uh, so in these screens I am uh, I am wrapping these screens inside the Stripe provider. Doing so, I will have access to all the methods and all the variables that I uh, need. Uh, after that, we should go to our to the marketplace page and do some things. My marketplace is this screen. So here, I in my application in React Native application, I have uh, some avatar as you see this is the ones that you start with uh, these are free uh, they are not very good so um, as you progress in the game you have two options to get some avatars through your process or, or buy some uh, avatars so the marketplace page is this and you can buy some of these legends uh, for one and a half euro uh, so this is the page that you are seeing in the, in the code. Um, I am importing some. I'm importing some things. These are the things you should import. And then uh, we see that we have a use effect here. The use effect is a hook. Is a hook that after the screen is rendering, is rendered, uh, it uh, it uh, runs some. Uh, methods the ones that I declare so we have two methods here we have the initialize payment scene and the set avatar so the set avatar is to get from my backend all the avatars that you see, that you see here the trace my credit manager and uh, so uh, and the other method is this the initialize payment sheet the initialize payment sheet uh, called this uh, makes this API call the fetch payment C params and I'm passing my token 
So my application has a JWT authentication. Uh, in order to make uh, to in order for every API call to be uh, secure, I'm not uh, going to accept any call. You have to make a, a login to get the token, and then you are gonna pass it to the through the through the calls. Uh, so this is my API call to my backend, and if I go to the payment service, I'm gonna see that I am either the token that I am passing through this uh, method. Uh, I'm placing it in the header in order to have access to the resource that I'm uh, looking for. So I'm making a post request to my backend, and I am passing. Uh, these options. So, let's see who handles this request. It's here. It's the get payment intent. So, when I uh, receive this call, the things that are happening is, are this. I'm creating a customer through this uh, API, this Stripe API call. Uh, then to this customer, I'm passing uh, the ID of my customer, which comes through the request uh, params. <coughs> then I am creating this uh, object. And finally, I'm able to create the payment intent with the main object that I want. And I passing the amount of the avatar, the currency, and uh, these things. These are the um, uh, some um, things that I have to pass in order to uh, to initialize this object. After that, I am returning a JSON object to my uh, front end which contains these params, the ID, the payment term, and all these things you see. So, I am returning this JSON object, and uh, in my front end, I receive these params, and I am returning, and I am returning them. Uh, so, here, I have these params, and I use them to create the initial the, the new payment seed. Uh, I want to also mention that I can do this job in my front end because there are security reasons. Uh, the initialize and the creation the creation of the payment seed has to become in my backend. I can't do it. Uh, I can't do it directly in my front end. It, it is forbidden by Stripe. So this is why, why I did it he, uh, here in my uh, bucket. Uh, so after initializing the payment sheet, I should open the payment sheet. The payment sheet is opened when I press the buy button. This method is uh, invoked when I uh, the, when I press the buy button. So when I press it, you see that it opens the payment sheet, this this screen, this black screen, and then I can uh, make the payment. So this is the number for the test uh, for a test card. I'm passing all these options, and then you see that I have to uh, buy to have to pay one and a half euros. Uh, I press buy and I'm getting informed that it was successful, the payment was successful. After that, if I go to the Stripe dashboard and then go and then to payments, I'm gonna see that the succeeded uh, payment and all the information. I, the customer ID that I pass and uh, all the other all the other details. So this is uh, the video I want to share. Uh, I know it's not it's not nearly perfect. 
uh, I don't have time to make it perfect because, uh, as you already know, I am a I am a junior developer, and I want us to have time to get better. Um, so uh, I hope you learned something and uh, help. Uh, even if I help one person, one person to uh, make to be able to make this Stripe payment, I am very very happy. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to. My idea is to share how to uh, get that uh, payment and make a booking. And after that, I want to uh, to um, here in the change avatar screen. I want to be able to see the avatar that I bought. So this, these are the free avatars I want to add and the one that I bought in order to be able to select it and use it in my uh, game. My game is the main screen here. So this is what I want to do. Uh, so thank you very much. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to ask uh, in the comments. Code for life. See you in the next one.